if two supplemental angles are in a ratio of 5 to 4, and the question asks is, what is the measure of the smaller one? Now, the trick is the supplemental angle. Uh, supplementary angle and complementary angles are really confusing which one is which. Of course, one is 180 and one is 90. And the easy way I find for my student is think of C as a 90 degree, right? It has 90 degree. And then if you know C complementary is 90, of course, the other one is 180. All right, so let's get started. What's the smaller one? So let's say call it X is the smaller one. That's our um, definition for smaller angle. So smaller angle plus the larger one is equal to 180. That's the first definition from the first sentence from the uh, question. And the second one is says the smaller one over the larger one, the ratio is four to five. Okay, or the other way would be larger one over the smaller one is equal to five to four. It doesn't matter, but so long you keep it track of which one is which. Okay, let's simplify this or write it in a different form so we can see it. X over Y, this means that the two dots really means divide, also means it's over. Okay, so, my apology. okay so X over Y equal to five to four. So the ratio from the smaller one, smaller one is corresponding to the four, and then larger one is the five. Or you wanna put the other way around, it would be the larger one, that's, those two are corresponding, and this is the smaller one. But just make sure the order goes well, so you don't you don't um, confuse which one is which. Now, x over y here is equal to four over five. And I tell my students, whenever you have a fraction form like this, the easiest way to get out of it is draw a butterfly. Okay, and this literally looks like a butterfly. So from here, butterfly tells you x times five, or five x is equal to four y. From here, you can substitute it back in there and solve for it. So let's say um, x, it might be easier to do the other way. So 5x equal to 4y, what's y? From here, you can say y is equal to 180 minus x. Okay, so y is 180 minus x. Let's multiply it out. So 5x is equal to, let's say, 180 times 4, 720, so 720 minus 4x. You add 4x on both sides. You can see 9x is equal to 720, or x, the smaller one, is equal to 80 degrees. Okay? Have a confident day.